Today I'm going to show you how you can mix your vocals from sounding like this you don't even know how much I love you. to sounding like this. You don't even know how much I love you. Using only stock plugins. So everything we're going to be using today is FS Studio stock plugins. So if you're interested in learning how I did this magic, watch this video to the end because I'm going to be showing you crazy tricks. So let's jump right in. The first thing I do when I want to start recording, uh, when I want to start mixing my vocals, see, you can never get uh, clean sounding vocals like this if you don't have clean sounding recording. That's the first thing that you have to like learn. You have to learn how to like get clean recording. If your recording is not clean, there's no how your mixing is going to be clean. It might be, but it just makes you it makes your work easier. Listen to what I recorded. This is my voice by the way. So this is what I have. You don't even know how much I love you. See how clean it is. Mm -hmm. You don't even know how much I care. So my, my goal when recording this video is this um, audio is that I don't want my levels to be too loud. Um, some people record their vocals and their vocals will be like like this, looking like this. This is like way too much, bro. So don't do that. Record as low as possible. That way you keep the noise a little bit minimal, right? So the first thing I did is no matter how quiet your space is, there's always going to be some little, little noise. Or maybe you just don't have like a perfect recording studio to record your vocals. What I did first was this thing I call gate. So I'm going to be using the Fruity Limiter for my gate. And what this gate does is that for every sm all those small noise that you have underneath or in between your vocals, it's going to like mute it or it's going to like uh, turn off the volume, right? So that you don't have all those studio noise and or uh, white noise or whatever that you have underneath. So this is what I have first. Let me solo you so you hear what each thing is doing. You don't even know how much I love you. So you can see this. Mm -hmm. It's docking everything here. It's muting everything after my vocals. So immediately after my vocals finish, it, it stops, it reduces everything. And I did that by putting the gain down. And the threshold, I said the threshold, you can set the threshold as low as, as you want it to start kicking in. And the gain as well, how much you want it to reduce. And that's what I did for that. It's very simple, very easy, right? And then we'll move to the next thing, which is tuning. Now, for a lot of people, people use auto-tune. You can use auto-tune. Auto you can use auto-tune from Antares. I think uh, Waves also have auto-tune. But uh, in FS Studio, we also have our own auto-tune and it's called picture i know a lot of people don't know about this but this picture is really 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 good you can do the work of what you can do what the most autotune plugins can do it is also an autotune so all you need to do is to select your key here my i'm the key of g major or e minor i pick g major right that's my key if, i think you should learn how to find keys so if you don't know and this is the major right i'm a key, key of g major then here, this is what, this is the gender. This is just like, it's kind of like an, how will I explain this? It's kind of like an EQ to tell it, uh, is it a man that is singing or a woman? Is it a male or a female that is singing? So if you are male, it's okay to turn it to the left a little bit just to like come to the uh, male side. Or if you're female, it's, it just means it's only turn the higher part of your vocals. Me, I wanted to turn all the way down because I have like a, this is a semi manly man. My voice is not that manly, but it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, just put it down like this. And and then yes, this is your return speed. This is the most important thing. Now it there's a place it wrote fast, right? This fast here, and then there's slow, and then there's medium. What it means is if you put it to fast, you want it to sound robotic. You want it to tune it really hard. Like listen to what it sounds like with a fast setting. You don't even know how much I love you. So it's beginning to sound like uh, those tipping sound, right? If you, if you want that, some, um, there are some Afro beats or some um, uh, rap songs. I actually use that a lot. It's a very beautiful sound for some, but that's not what I'm using. That's not what I want for my song. So I'm going to just take it back just a tad to around the medium setting. So... You don't even know how much I love you. Nice, nice. 
Also, one thing that I will tell you about uh, mixing is when you're mixing your vocals, try not to mix in solo. Uh, try to mix with the other sounds in it, so that so you can hear how how the this the what you're doing is fitting in to what you're doing. But I'm only muting it so that you can hear every single thing that we're doing. So we move to one of the most important parts, which is the uh, EQ. Now, this part is going to be a little bit controversial because uh, when I just started off mixing vocals, I always like to do this thing where I, I take vocals up like this and then I switch for problematic you don't even know like how this much I love. and then and then I take it down like this right mm -hmm. I like to I like to do that a lot there's nothing there's nothing wrong in doing that but over the time I, I got to realize that it, the the difference that it makes is not really really significant except you have a vocal that is recorded in a very 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 poor environment all right for my vocals, I just, I just, I just realized that rolling off uh, this part or bringing down around like 300 hertz, just smoothing out the vocals, and very, very importantly, you have to take out everything below like 100, as this part you don't need them. This part is just rumble, right? So you just take it out. I just stick it out up to here, and then brought this part down, made it a wide Q as opposed to a narrow Q like this. Just made it wide. So you can take a bunch, a chunk of it out. So my vocals will not be uh, muddy or boxy. And then I, the vocals is a little bit thin. Uh, it's a little bit, um, it lacks air in it. So I just brought up uh, around like 15 hertz here. I just, just bring it up, just to bring that brightness. So this is what it sounds like. You don't even know how much. Without it. You don't even know how much I love you. So it just it's just shaping the vocals to how I want it. And this part, pay attention to this part. I've actually taught this part before. It's what we call the compression, right? And this is my limiter here. I'm gonna show you everything I'm doing here. So just hear what this, the compressor did to it. Listen. You don't even know how much I love you. Instant, instant change. So let me show you what I did. What I did is I Turn down the threshold. This is my threshold. The threshold means where do you want it to start compressing from? So this is the blue line here. Turn it down a little bit. And then I selected the ratio of two to one, right? Two to one ratio. And then my attack, I made it a, a very, very uh a fast attack, but not so, not all the way fast, just a fast attack, and then a medium to slow release, right? Just medium release, and then it sounds very good. Yes, and then I turn up the gain. Because now, the reason why I said you should always mix in in uh, while listening to other sounds is because while I was mixing, I noticed that my volume is actually very low compared to the music. So I was trying to bring it up to match. This is where I bring it up to match the volume. So if I mute the mixer, the, the um, compressor, it sounds like this. You, don't even know you can hear the vocal is very low. Once I turn the compressor on, listen now. See now. You don't even know how much so it has matched the volume that I, I desire it to be, right? So now moving on, the next thing our on our mixer channel, on our mixer, uh, this thing is the DSR, right? Now, how do you DS in FL Studio? We use Maximus. This is like just one of the way. This was like one of the easiest way to do it and is one of the most lazy way to do it. So if you are just planning to compress or uh, you're just going to plan to take out the S's in your mix, just come to Maximus, come to, um, there's C here, there's the S in here in the preset. So just select the S and you can go for the split band or you can go for the narrow band. I did, I went for the narrow band and I didn't, I hardly touched anything except for here. I, I hardly touched anything. You can just use the preset just like that and then you have DSing. And then I wanted to shape the vocals one more time just to give it another small, like a, a more, uh, I would add what call it, to give it more presence, right? And that's when I used this. Uh, we had no idea, they just rolled off all of this. Just tuned down this part a little bit, just a little bit. And then I brought everything up here, right? Just to brighten up the vocal to give it that. Uh, pop sound, that Afro sound, that Afro sound that we love, that you hear from Rema, from um, 
Yeah, who else? From Victory, you know, that, that Afro sound. You don't even know how much I love. You can hear the shine. Mm-hmm. Now, that's all I did with my mixing, and then we can go to uh, the uh, what's it called? Effects. Now, for effects, you can there's a bunch of effects that FS Studio has, but I, I chose to use the most common one, which is just this two, which is the reverb. Now, for my reverb, for those of you that don't, I think I'm going to make a special uh, video on how to get the perfect reverb. So if you want that video, if you want a video on reverb, on how to calculate reverb and how to get the perfect reverb every time, just comment reverb. At least I will know that you watched this video up to this point. Comment reverb in the comment section and I will get to it. Probably that's going to be my next video if I see enough people typing reverb in the comments. So let's go. Let's do that. So... For this reverb, I'm using the normal uh, basic Fruity Reverb 2. And all I did here is to set my decay time. I'm going to show you in that video how I get my decay time. And then I have a pre-delay, which means how long do you want the, the uh, reverb to stay before going into, before it to start blue summing, right? Before it to start uh, working. And then I did EQ here. So I just take out everything everything like uh, below like 1,300 and then I pull down this one too. Just just doing some little EQ stuff and then I put up, up my wet and now we are wet. <laughs> Crazy. So you don't even know how much I love you. Just hear how beautiful that reverb so you will never know that this is FS Studio stock reverb and it's because of the calculation and the time that I took to actually shape that reverb. So listen. You don't even know how much I love you. You can hear that it is not muddy. It is not lingering for too long. You just know that there's a reverb here. You can feel the reverb as opposed to hearing a long reverb. There's nothing wrong with using a long reverb, but for this kind of vibe, I just want I just want you to feel that reverb, feel the wetness, all right? And then I added the last thing on my chain, which is the delay. Hey, just a tad, right? Listen. You don't even know how much I love you. Mm-hmm. So you can hear what I did with the delay. I set it to uh, 8, right? I set the reverb temp to 8, and then I did some cotton, meaning I, I want only, I don't want the high end of the of the delay to come out. I, I don't want it to sound like my main lead vocal. I just wanted to have that dark vibe behind my vocals, and then I reduced the feedback. So it doesn't go forever. It doesn't do, love you, love you, love you. And you know, it, 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 the amount of time that, is, that it repeats, the, that echoes the stuff is reduced. And then I brought down my volume, right? My input volume so that it doesn't have, it doesn't, it's not as loud as my main vocals. And that's all. And that's how we got vocals sounding from like this. You don't even know how much I love you. To sounding like this. You don't even know how much I love you. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. You don't even know how much I care. Wow. Care about you. You guys, you guys know I can sing a little bit, right? <laughs> so let's listen to it with the music and see how those things are. I just have like a shaker, a pad, and then a guitar um, loop here. So listen. You don't even know how much I love you. Mm-hmm. You don't even know how much I care. Care about you. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. So, the only way you guys can thank me for doing this, because I know that I've shared a lot of secrets that a lot of people don't know. So, please, before you leave, Please subscribe, considering subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's like the only way you can help me. And like this video, like it, like it. Leave a comment, let me know that you watched it. If you gain value from it, just let me know that you gain value from it. Just leave a comment and let me know whatever it is that you guys want me to teach next. And Uncle Piano is here for you. So see you on the next class. Peace.
Yeah. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to support the piano, subscribe. And if you don't like this video, go. Just go.